The Vatican Library is reopening its doors after a three-year restoration that cost nine million euros. For three years, the building has been closed to scholars to allow workers to revamp the place. They improved the security system, inserting microchips in all the books, making it harder for someone to walk out the door with one. At a press conference, the Vatican's chief librarian noted that all library materials and individuals in the library will now be watched. There will now be electronic control of the movement of library materials. All the people in the library will come under the video surveillance. There are now new cameras and microchip monitors installed above the bookshelves and security gates that employees and academics will need a special card to pass through. And the Vatican used library employees for some basic cleanup work, including dusting off books. This is one of the oldest libraries in the world, and now the Vatican has spent three years and lots of money in restoration. They've beefed up security and dusted off old manuscripts, and now we'll try to make it more accessible to scholars, researchers, and historians from around the globe. The Vatican Library was started by Pope Nicholas V in the 1450s, and today it has tens of thousands of books, thousands of manuscripts, as well as the Codex B, the oldest known complete Bible. On September 20th, the library will once again open its doors to the thousands of scholars who are given permission to examine books at the library every year, but they will not be able to take books out. There is only one person who can check books out of the Vatican Library, and that is the Pope. Tricia Thomas, Associated Press, The Vatican.